Hello, and welcome back to FX Limit, the channel where we dive deep into the world of Forex trading, helping you make informed decisions and manage risks like a pro. Today, we're tackling a crucial concept in the trading world, the risk-reward ratio. This concept is not just a buzzword, it's a fundamental principle that can make or break your trading journey. So, let's get right into it. First things first, what is the risk-reward ratio? Simply put, the risk-reward ratio measures the potential profit for every dollar risked. It's a way to quantify both the potential return and the risk of a trade. When you hear traders say, I'm looking at a 1 to 3 risk-reward ratio, what they mean is that for every dollar they risk, they aim to make $3 in profit. It sounds simple, right? But there's much more to it. Understanding the risk-reward ratio is crucial because it helps you make strategic decisions. It's not just about finding trades with high potential returns, it's about balancing those returns with the amount of risk you're willing to take. A high risk-reward ratio means you're aiming for a high return compared to the risk, which can be both exhilarating and daunting. Let's break it down with an example. Imagine you're looking at a currency pair, say euro to US dollar. You've done your analysis, and you believe the price will rise. You decide to enter a long position, but before you do, you need to consider your risk-reward ratio. You might set a stop-loss order 20 pips below your entry point and a take-profit order 60 pips above. This sets up a 1 to 3 risk-reward ratio meaning you're risking 20 pips to gain 60 pips. This ratio ensures that even if only a third of your trades are successful, you could still break even or make a profit. Now, why is this ratio so important in Forex trading? The Forex market is notoriously volatile. Prices can swing wildly, and without a clear strategy, you can quickly find yourself in deep waters. The risk-reward ratio helps you manage this volatility. By setting predefined exit points for both losses and gains, you protect your investment and avoid emotional decision-making. But here's a key point, a high risk-reward ratio doesn't automatically mean a better trade. It's essential to balance the ratio with the probability of the trade being successful. Sometimes, a lower risk-reward ratio might be more appropriate, especially if the probability of success is high. It's all about finding that sweet spot where potential returns justify the risks taken. Another aspect to consider is your overall trading strategy and risk tolerance. Different traders have different appetites for risk. Some might be comfortable with a 1 to 5 ratio while others might prefer a more conservative 1 to 2. It's important to choose a ratio that aligns with your trading style and financial goals. Remember, in Forex trading, one size does not fit all. In conclusion, the risk-reward ratio is a powerful tool in the arsenal of any Forex trader. It helps you manage risk, set realistic expectations, and make decisions that align with your trading strategy. As you continue your trading journey, keep this concept in mind. It will help you navigate the turbulent waters of the Forex market and emerge as a savvy and successful trader. That's it for today's episode on FX Limit. I hope you found this discussion on the risk-reward ratio insightful and helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more content on Forex trading. Remember, knowledge is power, especially in the world of Forex. Stay tuned for more insights, tips, and strategies. Until next time, keep trading smart and stay risk-aware. Happy trading, everyone!